Cincinnati. Sticky weather. And check out the forecast highs tomorrow. 96 for Atlanta. A partly cloudy with scattered thunderstorms. Some of the thunderstorms may be severe early tonight. Lows in the upper 60s. West winds 10 miles per hour. Chance of rain is 50 percent. Should be looking a good chance of more showers scattered about the area during Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening. We'll check out the Midwestern part of the country here. A good chance of more scattered showers too, especially in Minnesota, Iowa, and down into Missouri. But a weak area of high pressure will continue to move across Wisconsin tomorrow. 95 and lows in the lower 70s. The extended forecast for the period Tuesday through Thursday, there is a chance of showers and thunderstorms each day. Highs will be 90 to 95, lows 60 to 65 Tuesday, and 65 to 70 Wednesday and Thursday. At 5 p.m. In Omaha, Nebraska, about 94. Now we'll look at the western part of the country. Maybe a passing shower tomorrow around Phoenix and Tucson, up towards Salt Lake City, Utah. But again, it's going to be very, very warm here. The southwest still very, very dry as we talk about California. Again, with a persistent trough across the Pacific Northwest, Bellingham over towards Seattle, Washington, a couple of clouds, maybe a few passing showers there again tomorrow, too. But look at the heat and humidity still continuing across the Rocky tri-state at 5 p.m. over Ohio cloudy skies temperatures in the mid 80s Indiana cloudy skies with thunderstorms over central and southern sections temperatures in the lower 80s coming up next on the weather channel look at this evening's weather we'll track some of those severe thunderstorms across the Ohio Valley following your local forecast which have been rapidly developing during the last couple of hours in Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, also around Kentucky, and a few more stronger storms beginning to pop up now in western Pennsylvania. And there's your persistent light rains across western Texas. We'll check on a couple of spots now and show you exactly what's happening with some of those stronger cells around Kentucky and Indiana. Looks like Indianapolis could be looking at some of the stronger stuff now for the next four or five hours with more redeveloping storms to the west of here. So it could be a very stormy night across Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky, and of course moving eastward into parts of uh, Virginia and also across the uh, maybe as far eastward as well, central Virginia as well.